is himself, Mr. Johnny Holiday. Where the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, someone waits for. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. And no matter how far away you roam, if you pine for the sunshine of a friendly face, for the holidays you can't be home sweet home. I met a man who came from Tennessee he was a heading for Pennsylvania and some homemade pumpkin pie. From Pennsylvania, folks are traveling down to Dixie's sunny shore. Atlantic to Pacific, ah, the weather, it's terrific. And there's no place like home for the holidays. And no matter how far away you roam If you want to be happy in a million ways For the holidays you can't bring home sweet home And some homemade pumpkin pie From Pennsylvania folks are traveling Down to Dixie's sunny shore From the Atlantic to Pacific Ah, the weather, it's terrific And there's no place like home for the holidays And no matter how far away you roam if you want to be happy in a million ways For the holidays you can't beat home sweet home For the holidays you can't beat home sweet home oh. Go. Uh, Thank you very much Hello everybody and happy holidays. I'm so glad you're here tonight. So good to see so many of you and I wanna, I wanna tell you I'm delighted and thrilled to be back here at my favorite drinking house. This is a marvelous room. I've played here so many times and every, every holiday we, we do this show. We try to bring back uh, some of our friends who appeared with us over the last year or so and I think tonight we really got dead aim on some goodies. I also wanna introduce some very special friends of ours that are here in the audience tonight. Back in November, I had the real pleasure of going down to Newport Beach. They actually let me in and uh, went down there to do a nice benefit for a very important organization, the Laguna Playhouse. And right over here at this table are people from the Laguna Playhouse, and I want to thank them for coming all this way for tonight's show. We raised a record amount of money for them, and we're going to do it again next year. I mean, uh, they had Leslie Caron there uh, just uh, earlier this year. They've put together so many wonderful shows. And I want to also thank Maxwell DeMille for putting this show together for me because I have been so busy. And by the way, would you please welcome my musical director of Many Moons, Dean Mora. And say hello to the band, the best band in town, I'll tell you, right here. The... Uh, this show we've been doing for many years, and I don't know how many of you had a chance to see the window, 
But I happen to have a lot of my late great uncle Bing Crosby's personal items. Marc Chevalier, where are you? Marc Chevalier, who, is, uh, who knows everything about the Oviat building, also, hey, there he is, best dressed man in the room. How are you? Happy holidays, Kim. Happy holidays to you. Mark, I want you to tell the folks about the window you put together of Bing's things. Well, uh, when you walked in through the, uh, the big glass doors, if you look to your right, there's a display window. And there is a beautiful tuxedo jacket. That belonged to Mr. Bing Crosby. It was made custom made for him in 1931. And he kept it forever. <laughs> Wore it in five different movies. It showed up in movie poster and showed up in song sheets. Uh, it was probably the most photographed tuxedo in the history of the world. Uh, please go take a look at it if you can. Mark, thank you so very much. Thank and thank you for not embarrassing me when you dropped by and saw me in my, in my dressing gown. Because I really, uh, at that hour, I'm usually with Somonex and ready to go to bed. So Heck of a dressing gown. Yeah, it's, well, it's Hickey Freeman. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. You did a great job. And folks, I want you to... Take a look at that window, it's very nice. I have a lot of things that were bings. In fact, tonight I, I brought a little bit of good luck with me. You know, I'm wearing Sinatra's pocket square that he gave me many years ago, and I always carry Bing's rosary. Let's hope it gets me through the night. I've been saying a lot of Hail Marys. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, to start off our program, I want to bring up someone who had nothing to do with hanging these marvelous decorations. Maxwell did that himself last night. But she's a great, wonderful girl. She's worked with me for many years, and I love her to death. Would you please welcome Christine Nelson? And ladies and gentlemen, Miss Christine Nelson will soon begin a tour where she will be working with Engelbert Humperdinck. And I want to congratulate her because he still has his chops and you're gonna show him something he's probably never heard or seen before. I'm very proud of you. To work with a legend has to be a lot of fun. Well, you're the legend here, my dear. Well, that's only because I'm a 93-year-old man and I just look really good. You look fantastic. Thank you. It's all plaster Paris and a little epoxy. Keeps me together. But why don't we do that song that we've done so many times because it's our number, it's our tradition. It's our Christmas tradition at the Security right. Club. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I brought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight. Oh, I'll hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight. All the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying. But my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let the elements decide to quit. Let it sneak hail snow up a storm. We've got the chemistry to go with it. And we don't need a fire to keep us warm. Long as we love each other true to form. Take it. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, but my dear, we're still goodbye. As long as you love me so, let, let it snow, let it snow, let the north winds cluster and blow. Done with your hair. Why, thank you. Oh, she looks Have a great. great show tonight, my darling. Thank you, sweetheart. With our cast of thousands, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Ha happy Holidays to you, darling. Isn't she lovely? Christine Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a hand. I'll tell you, she's great. Love this girl. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like uh, one of my favorite memories. When I first started on the Lawrence Welk Show in the fall of 1969, I took my first tap dancing lessons with Arthur, Dun Arthur Duncan. Arthur Duncan is a legend, and uh, we're gonna bring on right now another legend. So if you'll please make a little room on the dance floor, I want to introduce to you one of my favorite tap artists, by any means, one of the best people I know, a lovely lady. Please give your attention to Miss Rusty Frank. Rusty Frank, ladies and gentlemen, isn't she wonderful? Or as Mr. Welk would say, wonderful, wonderful Rusty. Um, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank our general manager here, Richard Lieberman, for making all this possible, because we have over 100 people on a waiting list for tonight's show that we're not, we were not able to see. So thank you for coming and setting a new record for our show. Thank you very much, all of you. We love you, we really do. And here's someone I've enjoyed so many times. She's a wonderful, talented, not only a good singer, a wonderful lady, a great actress, someone I think you're gonna remember from motion pictures, but boy, can this kid sing. Please welcome, oh, there she is, the lovely Rebecca Del Rio. Rebecca, I have to tell you, you look stunning as always, and it's always a thrill to have you on the show. It's been a long time since I've seen you, and I must say, I've missed a lot. So what are you gonna sing for us? Bring that down for you, kid. Because Rebecca, now what was the movie I first saw you in? Mahol um, Mulholland Drive, was that it? I remember. Rebecca sings anything, but she sings certain songs in a particular way that I enjoy, and what is your selection for tonight? Well, I, I thought I was going to sing Santa Baby, and that's very Christmas, of course, but I'm going to go ahead and take you to um, a Latin Ah, mood. South America, take us away. Yes. Well, where's, uh, where's Rebecca? Because I want to dance. Rebecca, come and dance with me. que se va el cumba 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 chero el bongo 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 cero rique tiki va sonando el cumba chero bongo cero que se va bongo cero que se va es en ese tambor rique tiki cumba eso Bongo cero, bongo cero, que se 
va, ¿cómo será que se va? song that uh, you probably know, but I want you to dance to this one. It's a lovely tune. Bing sang it with, uh, what was her name? Bob Hope, Marilyn no, Marilyn Maxwell did it too, but Bing recorded it. Right, the Lemon Drop Kid, Paramount, Silver Bells.
Silver Bells is played by the Connecticut Yankees with Dean Morris. I tell you. And I got to tell you, you guys are all, you sound wonderful. We don't hear enough waltzes here. Did you enjoy that one? Because I saw you all properly going in a circle. You used to get smacked in the head if you didn't do that. But now I want to introduce you to an act that quite candidly has knocked my socks off, but it's the first time they've appeared on my show. You're pulling my leg. You are pulling my leg. Don't do that. I'll go find out those aren't really my legs. I heard this uh, trio not that long ago, and I was so impressed because when Bing first started on the Woodbury program, he had the Boswell sisters. When I heard these girls, I thought it was the Boswell sisters. Please welcome, for the first time on my stage, the Sawaro sisters. So ladies, this is the first time you've appeared with me. Uh-huh, it sure is. And I'm sure you're thrilled to death. Oh yes, we're absolutely thrilled to death. Good, good. Thrilled. Just don't cash the checks until <laughs> Thursday. Now, please introduce yourselves to these folks and our listeners around the world. Hello, I'm Shona Sawaro. I'm Katrona Sawaro. And I'm Corona Sawaro. And together we are the, the Sawaro, Sawaro sisters. sisters. <laughs> I do feel like I'm on the Lawrence Welk show again. <laughs> We found these girls in Toledo, and now here they are to sing for you an old favorite of yours truly, and it is... Little Jack Frost, Get Lost. Okay, well, go ahead, girls, and boys, take them away. I, I really enjoyed you. Oh, well, thank you very much. You know, uh, seriously, I, I really enjoyed the harmony. Very nice, bright, and tight. Uh, I've got a show here the day before Valentine's Day, February 13th. Uh-huh. Would you be available? Oh, would we? Well, would we be available? I think available? they should come back would on February available? for my Valentine's show. <laughs> February 13th, I well, want to see you here. We would we'll be back for right. Valentine's thank Day, everybody. I'll see you in February. All thank right. you, girls. Thank, thank you, you very much. Holiday. We love new talent. Uh, <laughs> I really liked them. I thought they were great. And, I, and I'm looking for new uh, performers. And if you have a friend that you think should be in front of our orchestra performing with us, just write me at Johnny at Johnny Holiday Entertainment. And I will contact them. Here's someone that I found by accident. We, he's a, an old friend, and uh, I promised myself I'd be nice since it's Christmas. So I'll just say, please welcome Adam Tunney. <laughs> Can't do any better than that. Why are you clapping? You don't even know what he can do. First of all, he has a gig that paid him 
in Camarillo at I Manhattan. Did. Right. And that's you it. And I left. Well, you paid me more. The, the, the gift of. Oh, that's right. Where's your dollar? I've got to. Oh, wait. You're, wait, I got you at the one cent sale. It's going to be a memorable week. night. Well, no, I, but we worked together last in, yes, we in did. October. Yeah, we did. It was, it was a lot of fun. Time. And I got to tell you, yes. uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know this, it was Johnny Holiday's birthday last week. So I brought him a gift. Oh, great. Something that is uh, age relevant, because you're not the spring chicken you once were, Mr. Holiday. Open it up. I want you to. Uh, oh well, there's a there's a pill you can take for that. What do we get? What do we get for you? What? Here, okay, hold on. Prune juice, ladies and gentlemen. But there's more. There's more. Keep on looking. It's a. There's a lot of stuff. That's well. You can save that for later. Uh, here we go. And just in case, I mean, there's a lot of prune juice in there, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday to my dear friend. It's mama love. Well, it's, you got to open it up. It's, uh, oh it's, my God. it's toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Happy birthday, John. Don't take my microphone. You so well, this one doesn't come anyway, out. Yeah, okay. Forget Christmas. Uh, I don't like you. Whoa. Yeah, so what are you going to sing for us? The Christmas Waltz. Ah, the Christmas Waltz, properly done by Frank Sinatra with the Gordon Jenkins arrangement, right. my favorite. Oh, good. I'm probably going to take this mic, though, because this one doesn't come out. Yeah, another waltz, ladies and gentlemen, for your waltzing pleasure. Frosted window panes, candles gleaming inside, painted candy canes on the tree. Santa's on his way, he's filled his sleigh with things. Things for you and for me. It's that time of year when the world falls in love. Every song you hear seems to say, Merry Christmas. May your New Year's dreams come true. And this song of mine in three-quarter time wishes you and yours the same thing too. Chris Tedesco, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas, everybody, and happy birthday, Johnny Holiday. Come here, come here. Adam, I want to tell you, that was one of my favorite songs. Still? And I really enjoyed No, I thought you did a very nice job. Well, thank you very much. You know, you last time, I think, did uh, Count Your Blessings, which maybe you'll do next year. Maybe next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, thank you for the prune juice. Thank you very much. And a happy holiday to you. you Give my love to your mother. I don't know what happened here, Mr. DeMille, but I think we need to call our friends at Squib. Um, this thing can't seem to stay up. There we are. I didn't get too specific because we don't do endorsements here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, I have a song to sing for you. It was recorded in 1949 by Bing. Tiffany brought it back to life a few years ago, and it's actually one of the, I think, one of the finest love songs for the holidays. It's one of my favorites, and uh, Dean's written a very nice arrangement. And this goes out to someone very special to me. So uh, grab someone you like, get on the dance floor, and let's see uh, what we can do with this tune. You're all 
I want for Christmas. All I want my whole life through. Each day is just like Christmas. Any time when I here with you, you're all I want for Christmas, and if all my dreams come true, then I'll away on Christmas. Find my stocking filled with you. Each day is just. Like Christmas, any time when I'm here with you, you're all I want for Christmas. And if all my dreams come true. Then I'll away on Christmas morning and find my stocking filled with you. Thank you, boys. That was very nice. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're all I want for Christmas. I want all of you for Christmas. At least what's in your wallets and purses. If you'd leave it at the door, it'll pay for tonight's electrical bill. We have a bunch of hamsters upstairs on treadmills that continue to keep this building electrified. Your donations will help us. Ladies and gentlemen, some years ago, I made the acquaintance of one of the, he was listed as Broadway World's most popular vocalist. Without a doubt, a man who has performed for five United States presidents. He sings the national anthem like it's nobody's business. And he's a wonderful man who I think does me a great favor by appearing on this show. He is, without a doubt, one of the finest vocalists I've ever heard in the last three weeks. And I want you to please meet a real gentleman of song. He works regularly down in Hermosa. I love the man. Please welcome Dennis McNeil. Oh, Dennis McNeil, Dennis McNeil, your final last year. I, I, Fine I, to I, see you. I, it's good to see you, too. It's good to see you, too. Now, tell me, what was it that made you want to become a priest? Anyway, uh, uh, so seriously, Dennis. It's really what, it, what, what made me become not want uh, to become exactly, a priest, right? right? Well, I met your children, and they're beautiful. <laughs> and I want to tell you, Dennis, you're going to sing one of the most solemn and most beautiful songs. You know, I knew Perry Como, and I've always thought Perry did a wonderful job on this song, and now you're going to sing one of my favorite favorite uh, songs of the Christmas season, Oh Holy Night. Thank you, Johnny, for having me. Please listen to this beautiful voice. You'll, he used to be an opera singer, and now he's really the king of standards as far as I'm concerned. Dennis McNeil. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope 
the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. was born for oh, I divine all oh, night Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Johnny. Dennis McNeil, isn't he just the best? Thank you, Dennis, for bringing some class to the show. <laughs> Thank you. You know, uh, like Dennis, uh, when you're a Catholic, you know, we do get a few good songs, although most of them are just awful. But um, that's a song that Perry used to sing on the Kraft Music Hall when it was on television. Now, if you've noticed, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard uh, traditional holiday songs as well as standards. And right now, I want to bring up someone who was very close to me, except we only met this year. You know, my Uncle Bing had four boys in his uh, first marriage to Dixie. And I'd like you to meet my cousin, Phil Crosby, Jr. Phil, come on up. 
take this one here, Phil. Take mine. All right, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Philip, hot. As when I, you uh, appeared with me in October when we did the tribute to Bing. That's right. And you know, uh, what did you think of the PBS special, American Masters? What did you think of it? I enjoyed it very much. I thought it was very informative and very fair, and uh, I thought it was great. Did you know that some of the stills uh, came from uh, the house? I should next time you come over, I should show those to you. I would love that. I purloined many items along the years. I so. know you have. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope the widow doesn't find me. <laughs> Phil has selected a song that Bing sang on the radio right after Mel Torme wrote it. That's right. And I opened for Mel many years ago at the Venetian Room. You wouldn't have liked him. He was no. a mean man, but a great talent. But uh, you have a marvelous voice, and I want the people Thank to you. give a real listen to a young man who's going to keep the Crosby sound, the Crosby name alive for many, many years to come. Phil Crosby doing the Christmas song. Yes. Mel Torme and Irving Berlin, great Christmas songwriters. They knew. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows. Turkey and some mistletoe. Help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that sound. Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so Offering this simple phrase to kids from one to ninety two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. It's been said 
Many times, many ways Merry Christmas to Happy holidays. Well, thank you, thank you. Stay there, stay there. Stay there, son, stay there. How was that? Oh, I think pretty good. I think, I think you might have nailed that one pretty good. Thank you. You know, uh, Phil, when every, I, I need to tell the audience something. Um, you know, I, 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 was, I was yesterday, I've been very ill, and the Lindy sisters said, could Phil Crosby sing our songs with, uh, could you sing with Phil? They wanted to sing with you and not oh, me. I'm sorry. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not dead yet, so I'm still working, pal. Hey, no, I'm here with you. No, I'm you here. Know that. But Phil, I want to tell you, I, I hope that you can continue to work here. Uh, I know your mother's here, and I want to meet her during the break. Hi, but Ma. but uh, Phil Crosby Jr. has a marvelous voice. You can catch him here sometimes. But if I'm working here, I want to bring Phil back. I just think the world of him, We've been living in the same city all these years, and we only met each other this year. And I must say, having you over at the house, listening to all Bing's records was a lot of fun. It was. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. And Odessa Fidelis. All right. All right, buddy. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 1980, I was at the uh, Las Vegas Hilton with Liberace, and I was only doing a couple of weeks there. And I'd worked with Lee at uh, Harris in Tahoe. And I had the pleasure through Liberace of meeting the great Keeley Smith. And it was here in this very room, five, six years ago, that I met Keeley's daughters, Tony and Luann. And I'd like you to meet my darling friend. I love her to death. And she sings like a saint, Tony Prima. Now, you know, we've worked together a lot, you and I. You want to take it off? Take it off. No, just lift it. It just releases. She's my just the, band, the band sounds pretty good, don't you think? Hi, everybody. And, I mean, they're just sounding I great tonight. You guys. you guys should sound great. They're so great. Tony and I have worked together for a long time, <laughs> and I love her very much. And we talk all the time. And, uh, but I asked her to sing a song that uh, has a lot of sentimental value to me. And you sing it so beautifully. So I'm gonna, you want me to, can I stay with you yeah. while you sing it, would you mind? Always. I'll be quiet. And I want you to, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to know, Tony, who has performed for, for not just with me, but the, the Jive Aces and so many others, she's also an actress, but I love her singing. She's gonna sing, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas with feeling. With feeling. That's right. Dean, do that again. <laughs> far away Christmas past is past Christmas present is here today bringing joy that will last have yourself Dear 
travel near to us once more. Through the years, we all will be together. If the fates allow, hang a shining star. Someday soon, we all will be together. If the fates allow, until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. Tony Prima, you, that voice of yours, I think my garters just fell three inches. You, I love your voice. You are my Rosemary Clooney. I love the way you sing. Bob Hurtica, doesn't she sing great? And Sanford, doesn't she sing great? Send Henry up here. Send, send Henry up here. Thank you, Tony. Th Tony, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want, uh, I want to tell you before we uh, go on here. Henry, where are you? Let's go. Where are you? Where's that? Hey, everyone, I want you to say hello to my godson, Henry. He's going to be uh, 14 in January, yeah. and he's been coming to my shows for Christmas, and he leaves empty-handed every year. But, Henry, what do you want for Christmas this year? I have no clue yet. His voice also dropped in August. Um, Henry, where are you going to school now? Sequoia Middle School. Very good. And your folks are out there. Your dad keeps me out of legal trouble. Your mother's a very good cook. Who knows how to make asparagus soup the way it's meant to be. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll come down and buy you some drinks later on, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Henry Lansman, I love this boy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, every year, I have a real thrill singing with these three girls. I love them to death. This trio of they're just wonderful. Welcome the Lindy Sisters. Is a wise way to say Merry Christmas. 
shine by day and all the stars at night. Elikaliki Maka is a wise way to say Merry Christmas to you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Oh, I got to do that part too. That's right. We're going to do the whole thing. I love it. Do I? Elikaliki Maka is a wise way. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun to shine by day and hold the stars at night. Melancholy Maka is a wise way to say Merry Christmas. A very Merry Christmas. A very Merry Christmas. Guitar and thank you, Lindy Sisters, Bella Kaliki Maka. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break, but we have three marvelous musicians to entertain you for your dancing pleasure. And I'd like to personally once again say to each of the band, men in the band how much I appreciate all of you. You sound great. We love hearing. Support live music. Come to the Cicada Club. Every time there's a show, you're going to have a great time. And Mr. Holiday, how about a big round of applause, right. ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Johnny Holiday. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. And Camille. we have something for you, Mr. Holiday, if you'll just turn around for a moment. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey. Happy birthday. Mr. Johnny Holiday is turning 86 years old today, ladies and gentlemen. How old? How old? 86. It's 84. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You got that from Sanford Cohen. Anyway, yes. I'm 